Hello everybody, I'd like to tell you about this nice little refractor telescope. It's the model SV20 and it's an 80 millimeter refractor with a 400 millimeter focal length. Focal ratio is f5 so it's pretty fast. It's got a nice little uh, 5 by 20 uh, viewfinder and inch and a quarter eyepieces. Includes a diagonal and two uh, eyepieces, uh, 9 millimeter and 20 millimeter and a three times Barlow lens and a really cool smartphone camera adapter. So let's get started unpacking this nice little telescope. This package includes everything you'll need to view things on land and in the sky. Included is this nice little guide for astronomy and also your instruction book. Now this is a very reasonably priced instrument and I can see where it would make a, a great telescope for a beginner. But I also think that even the more experienced user could find this little telescope useful. Now most people probably think of a telescope as being used to view the moon or the stars and planets. But the nice thing about a refractor telescope is that you can also view things on land. I'm a bird watcher for example and I think this would be a great little telescope for that hobby. Now the package includes three boxes and in the first box you have your optical tube assembly or the telescope. And here it is. This achromatic design makes the refractor a very compact unit as you can see. They put a real nice finish on this telescope. I think it's pretty snazzy looking. It includes a dew shield so that uh, the dew doesn't get on the uh, primary lens and uh, comes with a cover of course so we'll take that cover off and there's our primary lens and then uh, down at the other end of course is where the eyepiece is attached next I'll unpack this box which contains all of the accessories So let's see what's included. Here's your finder scope. And in this bag we have the diagonal which plugs into the telescope and then the eyepiece goes into that. Here is your three times Barlow lens which will help with magnification. And there are two eyepieces, a 9mm and 20mm. Then of course we've got that smartphone camera adapter. Now when I said that this package comes with everything you'll need, I wasn't kidding. It also comes with a tripod. So let's review. This package comes with a telescope, a tripod, a finder scope, two eyepieces, a 20 millimeter and a 9 millimeter, a three times Barlow, a diagonal and a smartphone camera adapter. So let's get started with assembly. First we'll attach the finder scope. The finder scope sits on top of the main scope and it's attached with these two bolts and nuts. When you look through the main telescope it would be hard to find the object that you're trying to look at because it's magnified. And so with the finder scope you have a much wider field of view and so you can look through that little finder scope and identify your target and then go back and uh, look through your main scope and it'll be there. And now we'll attach the diagonal and the diagonal is handy because it allows you to stand up and look down through the eyepiece. Otherwise you'd have to crouch down to look up through the telescope. So there we go. Assembly was pretty simple. We've got our telescope with the finder scope and the diagonal and eyepiece sitting on this nice tripod. And so we're ready to open up this shade and take a look at what we can see out there. Now it's pretty bright outside with all that snow and sunshine. But I've got some bird feeders across the driveway here that we can look at. This is that smartphone camera adapter that I was telling you about. Now I have some pretty expensive camera equipment that I use for my astronomy. 
but today we're going to use our smartphone and this camera adapter. You just simply attach that camera adapter and then lay your smartphone up on the top of the adapter so that it's placed right over the top of the eyepiece. Now I have to tell you that I'm absolutely blown away with the quality of the images that I'm able to get with the smartphone through this telescope. You just don't need expensive equipment nowadays to take good pictures. Digital camera technology has improved dramatically over the last 10 years and the price has come down so much that it's made this sort of thing accessible to just about everyone. Now I'll give you an idea of what this little refractor telescope can do for you. I have this red building out in my side yard and up on top is a weather vane. And so we're looking through my expensive DSLR camera and there's that weather vane. Now I'll show what it looks like through this 80 millimeter telescope with the camera adapter and smartphone. So here we go again. This time I'll focus in with my camera on these butterflies on the side of the building. And now here's the smartphone. And I'll move down and you can see what it looks like through the 80 millimeter telescope using the smartphone. And now for some real fun. I'm a bird watcher. And I plan to take this set up with me when I go bird watching. It's light and it's uh, easy to set up. And the pictures uh, th with the smartphone through this 80 millimeter telescope are pretty spectacular, I think. So this is proof that you just don't need to spend a lot of money to enjoy a hobby. I still have my first telescope that I got over 60 years ago. With proper care, this telescope could last many years and provide a lot of viewing enjoyment. So don't be a couch potato. Consider buying this SV20 80mm refractor telescope and get outside. And did I mention that I'm an amateur astronomer? It was cloudy, but here's a look at the moon. With this model SV20 80mm telescope and the two eyepieces and Barlow lens, I think you may be surprised at what you just might see when you look up there at the moon.